Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to episode 3 of Bridge Project. I have learnt quite a few things since the last time I played this game. Uh, not just from the comments you guys have been giving me. Oh my god, you are harsh critics. You really are. I've had a few messages, triangles, squirrel, triangles, they don't compress. Yeah, okay, I've been reading up a little bit about this stuff. I've never done bridge construction before, but... It's been interesting. Um, one of the things I've learned actually is this kind of expert mode, uh, which is down here. You turn it on by flicking between normal and expert. Essentially what it does is gives you this kind of, the, this panel if you like, but it also allows you, if you page up and page down, you can move the grid backwards and forwards. Um, it doesn't really do an awful lot. I just think it's actually easier in expert mode because you get all the options that I want anyway Things like you know simple structures and whether I want to build crossbars. There are actually hotkeys for this stuff uh, So for example if I press B for crossbar You can see it's essentially the same as when you were down here and choosing crossbar It's just the same. It's apparently you have to be an expert to do this uh, There's also things like if you press insert it will bring up info uh, about your current bridge, which we'll see in a second. So, I'm on this one, which is a city map. Uh, I've just, just gone into here, and looking at my materials, I've got 600 meters of wood, 100 meters of cable, 20 meters of road, and 200 meters of iron. My first immediate thought, looking at this, because I've, I've, I've got this on one side, but not on the other, so given the fact I've got cable, I could probably do a suspension structure here, my first thought was to perhaps go across here with iron, but then I thought, well, let's try some wood. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try interface dot behave itself. I'm going to try wood starting off. Now I have got the uh, cross beams, isn't it cross beams turned off? So they're the kind of structures that go diagonally. I'm trying to save, obviously, save on cost, save on weight. So we'll go with that. And my first thought is to just suspend the whole thing um, from here to here to here like that. Seems a little bit nasty. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough or not. I mean, obviously the three points of failure are here. But we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. I mean, it might work, but I have, a, I have another design in mind. We'll see what happens anyway. I mean, that's getting a lot of stress. Buses going over. Yeah, they don't seem to have a problem. Actually, should we go in vehicle mode? Always good for a laugh. Um, yeah, but just before... Because... Let me click edit. Stop. So. What I thought... And again, I don't know if this is good or bad. Iron's quite expensive, so... How about this? There to there, like that. And then use cable for these bits. Now, is that more stable or not? In theory, what I'm doing is I'm reducing the amount of cable here. So instead of having a massive long cable, it's now only going to here. And the iron is obviously taking the stress through that bit there. Is that a better design than having cables going all the way up here? I mean, I could have run one cable there, one there, one there. I guess I, the bridge information would tell me, wouldn't it? The cost. I suppose the cost is the ultimate test. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That answers that question. <laughs> well, that answers that question, doesn't it? That's not... That's not a good design. That's actually weaker. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, well, I guess the original design was better. So, um, okay, well, <laughs> we'll stick with the original plan. 315,000 out of a budget of one point, sorry, 1,740. So that's pretty much under budget. That'll do. Let's go with the city map again. Let's progress the city a little bit, shall we? 
Alright, looks like we've got a double suspension structure going on now. One short, one long side. Materials available. Ooh, we've got suspension cable. This is the first time I've used suspension cable. Shit's going to get real. Uh, info. So we've got five cars, two buses. Alright, so no... No tanks or anything like this. So what we'll do is we'll start off with a wooden a wooden bridge. See if that's strong enough. Like that. So obviously we're looking at a suspension structure here. No, never use this. This should be interesting. Click there and Oh, I see. You just move your mouse up and down like that. Uh, I'm guessing we want it to be under tension. Is that better than that? How about that? And then use normal cables to, to do this. Let's give it a whirl. It's bouncy. It's very, <laughs> it's very bouncy. I don't like this. This isn't going to work. Holy cow, I would not like to travel on this bridge. I wonder if that should have been a bit higher then. This is going to fail. This is going to fail. Surely to God he's going in the drink. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that was inevitable. That was always inevitable. Uh, okay. Let's try cabling that up. That's not a great deal better, is it? So maybe we just need iron. Maybe that's the problem here. Wood isn't going to cook it, is it? It's too flexible. Shit, that's even worse. That's even worse. Alright, well we're learning on the job. So I think what we want to do is... I think we're going to have to go with iron. Just to get that rigidity. Suspension cable's good. Possibly there, like that. Then standard cables to finish. Oh no, that's still bouncing, isn't it? Deeply unpleasant. Might have to need some kind of triangular structure here just to give this f a bit of um, rigidity. Maybe some wood, do you think? But it's not really a suspension bridge at that point, is it? That's a nasty bridge. The buses went over, but that is deeply unpleasant. This shouldn't even pass, to be honest. That's ridiculous. It's going to pass it, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> level complete. <laughs> I don't feel like that was a pass, to be honest. It did the job, but for how long would that stay up? 1,800. I did it in 568, but it's a horrible job. Let's push on. We can always come back to that one. If you guys got any ideas about that, that one, leave me some comments, and I'll in a future video, I'll go back and edit it. Not quite sure. Oh, do you think it was so wonky because it needed the cross pieces? No, that wouldn't have helped, would it? Hmm. Okay, we have a crossing with uh oh pistons. Right, this is gonna get fun. I've never used pistons before, I have no idea what to expect. Uh okay. Quite a long span, actually. We've got extra support joints down at the back here, so we could build up and triangulate there to, to kind of pull back that way, like hook everything on these rear joints. We can also use these to support underneath. We've got a boat coming. Presumably because we've got pistons, we're going to have to... If a boat's coming down here, then... 
We're going to have to split this in the middle here and lift two pieces. So if that's the center point there, I wonder how wide we need to make the road section. Uh, let's, let's have a look at the road first. So we could come one square and then we can build a two square, two big squares I'm pointing out here. We could build two big squares of road here and then we would have one square of drawbridge or we can build one square and have a two squares of drawbridge. Well, I think I'm going to go with that. So I think we'll have one on each end like this. Yep. So we'll support that underneath. Like that. Should be quite stable. Yep, that's stable. And we're going to have a bridge section here and here. So that's going to get lifted. So in order to, it's going to hinge on that point there. So it's going to get lifted up this way. So we're going to need to do pistons pull or push. I don't know. I'm presuming they're going to pull because I can't push off anything. So the piston's going to pull up. It's going to need something here, which is then going to anchor down there. That's what I'm thinking. You can also transmit weight through here. Okay. Where do we want to go? We're going to straight line like that. And then back to here and anchor it there. So we're hinging here and then have a piston drawing that way. So obviously I've got to strengthen this with some more of these beautiful triangles. That looks fairly stable. Got a lot of stress over there. Actually, there's nothing to stop us carrying on over the top, in theory. Let's just mirror that. So, a piece there. Piece there. Anchored on the back there. Vertical supports and complete the triangle like that. That's stable, but. I don't know how high this bridge is. It depends whether we need it's going to be higher than this. Because if not, then we could in theory do this. Which is a little bit stronger, I think. And then we're going to need some pistons on there. And one there. Should try that. It looks like it should work. Cars are fine, buses... Buses hopefully okay. Bit of stress going on there. That's fair enough. Seems to spread the load reasonably well. The all-important piston. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> boat didn't even make it. It's not very high, is it, looking at it? So I don't need to worry about the height. Why didn't my boat... Why didn't my... Oh, God. That wasn't completed at all. My bridge fell over, you stupid game. Uh, what did I just do then? This was the problem. I think. It didn't seem to... It didn't seem to split properly. Do I need to right click and do something with this? Open joint used with piston. Aha! Aha! I'm presuming I need to do the same on the other side. Can I to do that? Turn joint to normal. No, it's done it. Aha! You learn something every day. Whoops. So I have to right click on that and make it an open joint. That's what happened, because it was a closed joint, it split the whole bridge in half. Okay. Alright, let's, let's try that. This is fun. 
Yeah, that's a completely different joint, isn't it? Look. Zoom out a little bit. Let's try and get a good view on this. Here we go. Piston bolt time. That's split in two. Nice. There's a lot of stress on this. There's a lot of stress. <gasps> is that high enough? Bugger. I think it is, just about. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fine. It's not happy. I'm wondering if we should have put a cross piece on that. That's under a lot of stress. Yay! Cool. That's not bad. That was fun. A bridge cost 1300 Half price. I did it for half price. Fantastic. I quite like that. Interesting about splitting joints, though. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to push on. Let's push through one of these and get to the advanced stuff. What have we got here? Six buses, four cars, four buses, and two... What was that? Houses? Oh my god. What is that? I don't know what that is. Cables, iron, and roadways so clearly... Uh, it's not suspension cable though, is it? I was about to say clearly suspension bridge, but that's not true. We're going to have to support all of this tension with cable. Okay, let's get the road in. Three sections of road. We've got anchoring point there. Anchoring point here. And we can use iron. So we could... Thinking... Let's come up here. Kind of match the height of the one on the other side to try and even out the force. Anchor it down there maybe. Let's match that one. So then if we take some cable, one to there and one to there. Whoa, it's not happy. That's not happy. Do you know what I think? I'm wondering if it's not happy because... It needs the cross pieces in the roadway, you know, the crossbars. Uh, is there a quick way of adding crossbars to that? I don't think there is. Select. Seriously, game. I want to delete the road. Seriously? Come on. I'll tell you what. How do we just delete the road? I want to select the roadway. Select. Wow, you have to be bang on. You have to be on with the pixel look. There, that selects the road. Anywhere else. I don't know. Could have been easier, couldn't it? Right, crossbars on this time. Let's hope for a bit more stability. Yeah, you can see the cross pieces are in there. Let's get the cable in. That's a bit better. That's a bit happier. It's a lot happier, actually. I wonder why that one was under so much stress and not that one. Is it because that one's got a little bit set back there? That one doesn't. That one's completely suspended. I think it might be. We could probably not have put cross pieces on these, possibly, but they're under a lot of stress, so I'm wondering. I still don't know what these are. The buses are... doing okay. 
A lot of stress, but it's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, so that was That's what it means. It means I'm gonna simulate a frickin' earthquake. Wow, and it passed. <laughs> no shit. Okay. My bridge survived an earthquake for a thousand pounds. I had a budget of 2,600. That's full of wind, that is. I'm happy with that. Okay, well, I think on that note, we're going to end episode three of Bridge Project. I hope you're enjoying this series. Do leave your comments. Hopefully, I did a little bit better on that one than my last one. I am learning as I'm going along. Bear that in mind. But I hope you're, uh, hope you're having fun and learning with me. I think in the next one, I'm just going to carry on pushing down this route. These are going to be essentially the same. Probably some different problems later but i want to see how far this rabbit hole goes pistons we've had we've now got earthquakes what next that's all from me guys until the next episode take care